Gerald here and welcome back to another brand new video once again we're up here on Mason's Adapt Fishing Complex now this wasn't the plan originally I planned to fish Steve's or Long um, I walked up there this morning and discovered that there was people in all the swims that I like the look of so after walking around here last night I knew that Basil's and Mason's was empty last night so I gambled on the fact there'd be no one up here this morning lo and behold I've come up and I've got the place to myself um, I've started on Mason's, hopefully if I catch a couple I will then bounce over on the Basil's as well and see if we can get a few out there. I'm up in the swim that I'm always in, about four from the end, same spots, same rigs, same baits um, that have been doing all the bites up here. So I am sorry, yet again it's another video on Mason's but like I say it wasn't the plan but when I'm out fishing I'd like to get it filmed and get them out to you because like I say I only get a few short sessions. Today I have actually got all day, um, got a packed lunch, I've got everything so I will be out here for quite a while and hopefully once I've caught a few on here I'll be able to move over on to Basil's. I did go and have a look at Terrapin and Gold, we got a guy already on Gold in the first swim and then there's a guy on Terrapin as well who is catfish fishing and he's set up in the middle of the lake so I didn't really want to disturb everybody else and like I said I've got the place to myself up here at the minute so that's quite nice. So all three rods, I've got a couple of handfuls of the cream seed over the top of them and they've all got the trawler baits, yellow peril pop-ups on. The ones that have been doing me all the bites, there's a fish swimming right under my rod tips right now that I can see. Quite a nice one as well. Might get a bleep in a minute because I'm back leading. Nope, he's just stalled. He's just sitting under me rods. He can stay there. But yeah, so hopefully we get a bite. I got up here quite early. Not as early as I would have liked because I was feeling a little bit lazy this morning. And I did sit on the sofa for maybe about half hour longer than I normally would. But it doesn't seem to matter because we've got the place to ourselves like we say. So we're going to sit here now. Just watch the water. We've seen a few fish. I think we're in the right place. So it's just a matter of time. Sit back and wait in till one comes along. We've got pretty decent weather today. I think we've got higher 12, which is not particularly warm. Um, it is a bit chilly, so I'm glad I've got my coat. I've also got my uh, winter suit, just in case I do get cold. But it's looking good for a bite. It's meant to go overcast. It has been sunny this morning, which is why I think the fish are all on the surface. It's getting a bit of heat. It's meant to go overcast in a couple of hours. It's starting to get a little bit overcast now. Um, so that hopefully we'll get the fish down on the feed. And those uh, cream seed with the yellow perils over the top should do the job. A little later. So it really doesn't seem like it's going to happen. It's still early. But I've had a walk around. I had the rods in. I had a walk around. Um, there's still fish up in that corner. Over the top of the right hand rod. But they just are not feeding. They're just swimming around. They're preoccupied. I've walked to Basil's and seen nothing. I think it might be time for a move. I can always come back up here later. That's the joys of travelling light and trying to keep everything on the barrier. It doesn't take long to move. So I think we're going to move down to gold and go fish the corner swim by the gate up towards the bowl. see what happens up there you don't know how busy this was over the weekend um, having looked at the Facebook page I see a few fish did get caught out of here so who knows how much bait's gone in whether they've been absolutely hammered I know there was no one on here last night and I know I'm pretty sure over the weekend there was only two people during the night on basils but where they've raked it and got rid of the weed or some of the weed um, I'm not sure if that's disturbed the fish over there like I say, Monday's always quite a difficult day to go fishing. For the exact reason is you don't know what happened over the weekend. There's a lot of line in the tree over there. Um, a few sticks hanging down and blowing in the wind. So someone's obviously been up here at some point. So I think, yeah, I'm going to get the rods in now. I'm going to head down to gold. Get the rods out in there and see if we can catch fish. Then once I've caught fish, I think I'll be a little bit more relaxed. And uh, maybe keep an eye on Terrapin, on Pegs 1 and 2. 
there's a lovely fish did come out of peg two not that long ago one that i would really like to catch so i think that's what we're going to do i think we're going to reel the rods in now and we're going to head down to gold Obviously we've gone down to two rods because that's the rules over here on this one but I have left the third rod out and set up so if I do catch a fish I can quickly put a rod back on the spot and see if we can get amongst other fish and get another quick bite. Normally when the fish move in on the spot in here if you can get the rod back out you're going to get one pretty quick so that's why I've left the third one still set up as well. So as you've just seen, I've put in a couple of handfuls of bait just on terrapin in peg two, my favourite peg, just in case for a backup, in case nothing happens here, we can just bounce two swims over behind us and hopefully get amongst them in there. The guys on terrapin have, have had a couple of fish. There's also been fish shown over my right hand rod already and that right hand rod spot is the one that tends to do the bigger fish. So I had, do feel quite confident on here. Um, there was a guy down in the first peg but I didn't get to ask him if he'd caught anything. I said I have had a couple out of terrapin, so the fish are feeding. It's just finding the ones that are feeding rather than just swimming around. But I will take a quick gleek up in the bowl at some point as well, just to see if they're up there. So guys, we finally got one. It's only a little bubby common, so we're not going to cause him too much stress by getting him out and taking pictures. We're going to send him straight back. Off you go, mate. So it's about five minutes after catching that fish and I'm sitting over there on gold and I'm hearing splashes all over terrapin where I've been chucking in the bait. So I've come over here with one rod without the alarm, just flung it out there and it's taken about 35 seconds and I've got another little fish. Look at this guy. What a lovely little mirror. Again, about the same size. He's only little. We're not going to cause him too many troubles. We're going to send him back now. This is going to sound mental and I can't actually believe I'm saying it, but I'm thinking about going back up the top again. I've just caught a small one out of gold and a small one out of terrapin. I've now got both rods in terrapin. But I think I'm just going to get plagued by little ones. I think it might be worth me going back up, having a little look at Mason's and maybe Basil's and just send it out for one that's slightly better. There are good fish in all of the lakes here. I mean, the 29 and the 27 came out of Terrapin not that long ago. Loads of 20s have come out of gold. But I just feel like I've got a better chance of getting a better one up the other end. The barrow is still loaded. I haven't unloaded it. I haven't got my chair out. I've just been sitting on the floor and on my bucket. So it wouldn't be hard to move once again. I'll give it another half hour and see what happens. So I am now back on Mason's, but I am having an absolute mare. I dropped my phone and the uh, wireless receiver for the mic that you can see here was in the bottom of the phone and that's cracked. It seems to be working, but I think it's probably going to give up on me. And then somehow a can of Pepsi that was in my lunch 
It's got a hole in it and sprayed Pepsi all over my food. Well, hey, and then the third thing, I've gone and snapped the mount off the tripod. Oh, I should have stayed up here in the first place and none of this would have happened. But the rods are out. We've got a pepper army out there. Uh, or a red rami, sorry. We've got a yellow peril and we've actually got a bottom bait out there as well. So they've got plenty of choice. I'm going to quickly catapult out some bait now and I'm going to sit and try and see if any of my lunch is salvageable. Ugh, salvageable. Can't talk. It's all this walking around, tired. Uh, so yeah, see if any of it's edible and salvageable. And, uh, and then I will come back to you in a little bit. So, finally. Fish is just absolutely boshed out as well over the spot. Finally, it's 2.30 and it's paid off. I'm so glad we've come back up here because we've got ourselves a much nicer fish. It's not massive. I'm going to say it's probably around the 14 pound mark. But, nonetheless. What a stunner. On the yellow peril once again. My fishing luck has continued moving around today has proved to be right maybe just giving the swim a little bit of a rest earlier and going down on the others catching a couple has done it the world of good like i said i've just had another fish bosh out so what we're going to do is we're going to get some photos of this one and then we're going to get the rods back out on the spot get some more bait around them happy days So we finally managed to get amongst one of the bigger ones. I'm glad that I came back up here. I was sitting down there on Terpen thinking I should be back up there. I should be back on Mason's or on Basil's trying to catch one of the better ones. And lo and behold, I've come back up here and got one. Now I'm just going to sit here and wait to see if another one comes along. The fish are still lurking around up this end of the lake. I can see them just cruising around to the point where I am seriously thinking about possibly putting a zig out. I know, right? I never fish zigs, I don't get on with them, but it couldn't hurt to put the right hand rod on a zig just out in front of me where they are all milling around. Nothing's happening on that rod. That was on the middle rod, which is over by the tree. <laughs> That's the one I had to fish on. The left hand rod is a little bit further down the bank. Again, just on a spot that I've pre-baited uh, the last few times that I've been here. And I have caught fish off of it, so it's nice and clear. Basil's is looking uh, a little bit clearer. They did drag a chain for it. I can't remember if I've said and cleared some of the weed. But I didn't see any fish, so we're not going to be bouncing over there, I don't think, today. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here now and think about doing a zig. I probably won't. I'll probably just sit here and uh, order some more fishing tackle because uh, I'm getting a bit light on a few things now. And uh, see where the rest of the day takes us. So as you can probably guess from my attire, it's got cold. It's only five to three as well, but the temperature has completely changed. It's got very overcast all of a sudden, so I think I'm only gonna give it probably another hour and get myself off home and come back tomorrow. I've got a few hours tomorrow morning where I can probably do some fishing and maybe get another one. I did think about jumping over on Basil's and seeing if I could catch a fish from there and then we would have caught four fish from four different lakes. But, I don't think it's worth it now. I think I'm just going to sit it out here. So, I have stuck this out way longer than I should have. Um, and it's definitely paid off. We've got ourselves our second fish from out of here today. Another a good common. He weighs definitely more than the last one. I'm not going to get the scales out, but I'm going to say it's getting up there towards the 20 mark. Very lively. There you go. Another lovely common out of Mason's. Lake's fishing really well. Just a shame today it's been a little bit slower. So let's get some photos of this one, get it back, and then get ourselves off home. Hello again. You're gonna have to excuse the sun in the background not a lot i could do about it but in typical mason's fashion 
I always say, leave the rods out to the end because this lake loves to give you a bite right at the end of the day. I've got one rod left in the water. We've got ourselves a very lively little common. I say little. It's bigger than the ones we caught down the bottom this morning, but he is incredibly lively, so I'm just going to get him up quick and get him back. I'm not going to take photos of this one. There you go. Wee. There he is. Let's get some photos, get it back. Let's see if we can get another one quickly before we go in with the last rod. Hello again. <laughs> it didn't take long at all. The last rod has torn off. I've actually put one of them back out just because there seems to be a lot of fish all of a sudden in the area. What seems to have happened is since the weather's switched, the fish has switched on and uh, we've got ourselves a little mirror here. He's a worn, torn old one. There he is. Little old one. He uh, put up a hell of a scrap though. Such a small fish. But yes, happy days. We turned what was a really hard day. Uh, started off really hard, not really getting any bites. And all of a sudden, it's turned on. I've only probably got about 15 minutes until they shut the gate. So I have got to get a groove on. Um, but I reckon I can get one more before we go. So let's get some pictures, get this one back. See if we can nick another one quickly. So it's finally done, all three rods have gone off, they're now all out of the water, we've got ourselves a lovely little common here, we're not going to get him out, I've just unhooked him, we're going to send him straight back. Where he belongs. And away he goes. So it is time to go, finally. Whew. I've lost count of any fish I've had now. I think I've had six again, six fish maybe. I'll have to go back through the footage and have a look. But it really switched on this evening. Once the weather had settled down, it stopped from going sunny to dark, sunny to dark, and warm to cold. Once the weather had like acclimatised and it had all settled down, the fish really went on the feed. They're still showing, but I've got no more time left. I have got to get myself off home, and we will be returning once again hopefully tomorrow morning for a few hours which when this video will continue so we'll see you then surprise we're back i'll let you in on a little secret it's not the next day it's actually five days later and we're fishing basils it's looking lovely it's been quite warm today i got out of work early and i thought why not it is Friday, so I won't be here particularly long because obviously everyone will be turning up for the weekend. But at the minute, I've got the lake to myself. There's four people on Masons. The fish are sploshing everywhere over there. Over here, they're just cruising around. But I'm getting a lot of liners already. Um, we're fishing the same spot that we fished in the last basil video with the right hand rod. And the left hand rod's just further down the lake, all up against the back margin. Um, they've all got the yellow peril pop-ups on them from uh, trawler baits which again you can get from here at Darrenth um, but yeah hopefully we can get amongst them I've decided to come on here mainly because there was nobody here and when I walked around I see a lot of fish on the move I didn't really want to plot up in the middle of four other people uh, there's actually five people on there I miscounted five people on masons um, there is a bit of a gap in the middle which where the fish are uh, splashing obviously because their lines have pushed them all into the middle of the lake but i didn't really fancy fishing around everybody so i've come over here nice and quietly got the rods out first cast on each spot a couple of catapults round you know the score let's see what happens so we're getting a lot of liners on the right hand and the middle rod oh there's a little twitch there there you go see that little liner there's a lot of fish on the move. Um, you can tell they're liners because they're not screaming off. They're just slight pull-ups. The alarms are set very sensitive, so I like to know what's going on. Um, if they continue, then I'll probably pull the rods back a little bit. The only issue is there is a little bit of weed on that right-hand spot um, further out. I'm fishing over the top of which, which is probably not helping with the line lay, but that's where the fish are, as you can see. So guys, I've just had it on the scales. It's 17 pounds and 12 ounces. Come on.
What a fish. Oh, the yellow perils. Once again, getting us a lovely, lovely common. This time from Basil's. It's got some lovely colours. It's just tensing up. Let me just put him down. No, it's all right. I'm just, uh, I'm speechless, guys. Everything seems to be going so well for me recently. I'm fishing really well. Let's get some photos of this absolute brute and get it back and get the rod back on the spot. Happy days. Like I said, it fell to the yellow peril over a couple of catapults of the cream seed. Happy days. Yes. Oh. Off you go. Come on. So since that last clip, not a lot's happened. Um, I've been getting a lot of liners, so there's still fish in the area. But it's getting to that time now where I need to start packing up and getting off the lake because the people that want to do the weekend are starting to turn up. It is a Friday, I don't know if I mentioned that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the rods in, get myself packed up and get myself off home. What's up everybody? Gerald here and good morning. We're back out on the bank today. <laughs> Hay fever's in full effect. Even though I've taken two one a day tablets. We're up here on Mason's at the minute, just having to wander around. There's quite a lot of fish on the move, but the only problem is it's an absolute quagmire. Look at it. I have been over on. Yeah, there's a nice fish right there. There's a lot of fish there. There's one showing. I think I'm going to have to come on here in the, in the mud. <laughs> um, I've been over on Basil's and didn't really see anything. The weeds come up a little bit, it's all in front of me swim as well now. So I will have to come up here and rake that all out. But what I might do is just do maybe again four hours on here, four hours over there. We've got all day today. So let's get the rods all set up, get them out, see if we can bank ourselves a nice. So guys, just doing a little bit of investigation work as I'm uh, walking around Mason deciding where I'm going to fish. And I came across this. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a line wrapped around this post and tied off to it. And then I pulled it all in out of the lake. And lo and behold, on the other end, we've got a lead with a zig on it. Now, if this was you, if you're watching this video and this was you, shame on you. Honestly, guys, like you've left it in the water. One, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place, but two, to leave it in the water when there's fish swimming around that could have easily got snagged on this. Awful, awful people. Also, up the other end, there is a load of rubbish. Let me go show you. So I'm pretty sure I know who's up here at the weekend. And I will be asking some questions if I see them. Because they have left their rubbish everywhere. Not on guys, come on, sort your life out. Take your rubbish home, it ain't hard. So guys, I really don't know where to fish. A couple of fish just feeding out there. I'm on Basil's at the minute, but as you can see, the water clarity where we've had loads of rain that's come in from the river has murkied it right up. But there are fish feeding. They're not showing like they are next door on Mason's. You're just getting lots of little feeding points like there. We just had one over there as well. I really don't know what to do. Um, Dilemmas, dilemmas. I know both of these have been hit quite hard over the weekend. This one was full and that one was full. I don't know whether to go down to Terrapin. Let's see if I can get a few out of there. But I really want to catch that nice one out of here that I've seen. What do I do? Decisions, decisions. So the aim today is to just stay mobile and see if we can catch a couple of fish and then possibly move over onto Basil's and maybe even go down the other end onto Golden Terrapin. But we'll see, we're actually in the pump end of Mason's, which is the end I don't normally fish. When I got here, there was a lot of fish over by the pump, so I've slung a rod over there, and I've got two on the back bank as well, probably about two to three foot off the rushes. They're all on the yellow perils from Trawler Baits, which has been doing me all the bites. But yeah, let's see what happens. 
if I don't get much action here, I will move up the other end to the swim that we like to fish. I am going to walk up there in a minute. It's not too far, just catapulting some bait from a couple of swims up. Catapult some bait onto the spots. I've already put some bait on the spot over on Basil's. Um, what I need to have happen over there though is I need that weed to push out the swim. There's some floating weed just in front of the swim. Um, it will push down hopefully by the afternoon with the wind will push it out of the swim. And then we might be able to go over on there, but we've got to catch a fish on here first. But I think we're going to do it. So that did not take very long at all. Middle rod, over on the far margin, gone off. Will he be able for two seconds? And there you go. A nice little common. Good start to the session. Let's get the rod back on the spot. Let's take some photos as well. Get the rod back on the spot. See if we can get another one. Happy days. Fish number two. Very lively. Very lively. Little mirror. I don't know if he's going to behave. Here we go. Nice little mirror. I've caught this one before. He's very lively. He's uh, spawned out. Very early spawning on here. 100% this fish has already done his business or her business. So, let's get some photos and get it back because it's uh, misbehaving. So fish number two coming to the middle rod again. Nothing's happened on the other two. Um, I will probably move them in about an hour, if not move lakes. Um, I'm going to walk up there in a bit as well and just check the other end because all the fish that were down in the aerator have disappeared. Now last time that happened, when we fished down this end of the lake, they all pushed up there and I went up there and had a good few um, in the hauling on Mason's video. So I will check that as well. I mean I've had two fish in the space of probably an hour and a half down here. Um, I also need to check Basil's as well just to see if the weed's gone in. So I'm going to give it another hour in this swim and then walk up there, check that one check basils and uh, decide what we're doing from there so i've been for my walk after getting the rods in and i've seen some fish over on the spot in basils so let's waste no time get ourselves over there and see what happens well 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 over here on basils got one rod out just put the second one on the spot and we've got one straight away before i could even put the bobbin on a lively little common in the net. What we'll do is unlock it, leave it in there for a minute, get the rods on the spots, and come back and show you it. So, the move has paid off once again. Uh, did a little bit of pre-baiting over here, and again, it looks like they've spawned over here as well. We've got ourselves a long, lean, mean fighting machine of a common. There you go. We'll get some pictures of this one. And get the rod back on the spot couldn't unlock it in the net unfortunately so uh, the rod's not back out there yet but let's get some photos get the rods back out there and get another one it's just about to bait up the other rod and put it out and i've just had a bream on the right hand rod so that got unhooked in the water and sent back so we've only got one rod in the water right now the other two need rebaiting and putting back out there but fish are definitely on the move in both lakes I'm still going to keep an eye on that in swim of Masons, um, but yeah, for the minute I'm going to stick it out in here. It's nearly midday, it's gone very quiet up here. Uh, Luke the bailiff's just doing a bit of fishing before he starts work. He's just had a cat out of Masons behind me, um, up the far end while I put in some bait. And it's getting very, very warm. I'm thinking about moving down onto Gold and Terrapin. The fish that I can see are all just sunbathing, they're not doing anything. They're not actively feeding. Like I say the temperature is sky high, I wish I'd put on a pair of shorts. I am absolutely roasting. So I'm going to give it five more minutes. And then I'm going to head down the bottom I think and see what's going on down there. Hello, hello. So we're up on Basil's for the evening. Um, it's getting quite late to be honest, the sun's starting to get ready to set. It's taken a little while, it's been very hot today. 
So getting amongst the fish has been quite hard. But we finally gone and got one, just as it's cooled down. Nice little common, some basils. Got a few missing scales. I think they really have started spawning on, spawning on here now. Got a few scrapes down this side as well. So let's get some photos, get this one back. See if we can get another one. It didn't take long, got the rod straight back out on the spot and we've got a lovely fish. It's got amazing colors. I haven't got a set of scales on me, unfortunately, but what a fish, look at this thing, it's so big, don't fit in the camera. Back up a little bit. Oh, what a cracker. Let's get some photos, get this back, see if we can get yet another one. It's fish number three, and another nice one. This one is so motley, and he is definitely milking, so we're not gonna hang about with this. So there you go, guys, a nice common. They definitely spawn like this one's all levering, and he has a Done a little bit of milking in the net, so let's get this one back quite quickly. Let's take some photos, get it back, and get the rod back out there. So, guys, it's like home time basically. I've just popped down onto gold just before they shut the gate, and I've got an absolute unit. Um, look at that side of this one again, the yellow perils. Do it again. Whoa, what a fish! It's massive, big old fish for gold. Go on to the yellow pearls, like I say, it took two seconds. I see it in the edge, dropped in front of it, put a bit of crumb around it, and bam, off it went. Happy days, let's get some photos, get this fish back, and get ourselves off home. I hope you all enjoyed that video. It's made up of about four different sessions, and I completely forgot to film an outro after catching that lovely fish out of gold. I have got more videos to come. The next video will be a really good one, somewhere completely different. We're going to Coombe Bank Fishery where we catch an absolute worldie. So until then, I'm going to say tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon.